Ever found yourself pondering over the concept of R-square and wondering where it fits into the grand scheme of statistical analysis? Well, you're not alone. So sit back, relax, and allow me to demystify this powerful statistical tool known as R-square. In the simplest of terms, R-square, also known as the coefficient of determination, is a statistical measure that reveals the proportion of the variance for a dependent variable that's explained by an independent variable or variables in a regression model. Imagine you're trying to predict the height of a person based on their age. R-square will tell you how much of the variation in height can be explained by age. So, when should you use R-square? It's quite handy when you're trying to evaluate the strength of your model. For instance, an R-square value of 70% indicates that 70% of the data fit your regression model. On the other hand, a value of 30% means only 30% of the data fit your model. The higher the R-square value, the better your model fits your data. But hold on a second, it's not always about chasing a high R-square value. A common misconception is that a high R-square is synonymous with a good model. However, that's not always the case. An R-square value that's too high, say 99%, might suggest that your model is overfitting the data. Overfitting means your model is so fine-tuned to your training data that it may perform poorly on new, unseen data. Moreover, R-square doesn't tell you if your chosen predictors are the right ones. It only tells you the proportion of the variance that's accounted for by your predictors. So, it's possible to have a high R-square value for a model that's using irrelevant predictors. In summary, R-square is a measure of how well your model fits your data. It's a useful tool for evaluating the strength of your model, but it's not an absolute measure of quality. A high R-square doesn't always mean a good model, and it doesn't tell you if you've chosen the right predictors. So when you use R-square, remember to use it wisely and never lose sight of the bigger picture, because in the end, statistics is as much art as it is science.